So in this video, we will talk about what is multi-tenant architecture. So first of all, you need to understand what is single tenant architecture and a multi-tenant architecture. So a single tenant architecture uh, is a single architecture per organization where the application has its own infrastructure, hardware and software ecosystem. Let's say you have 10 organizations and in this case you would need to create 10 standalone environments and your SaaS application or company will function as a single tenant architecture. Additionally, it implies more cost, more maintenance and a level of difficulty to update across the environments. And so a multi-tenant architecture is an ecosystem or model in which a single environment can serve multiple tenants, utilizing a scalable, available and resilient architecture. The underlying infrastructure is completely shared, logically isolated and with fully centralized services. So the multi-tenant architecture evolves according to the organization or the subdomain that is logged into the SaaS application and is totally transparent to the end user. So here you can see uh, single tenant versus multi-tenant as a diagram. In the single tenant, you have got your SaaS application covering two different orgs and their users. Uh, versus in the multi-tenant case, you have your SaaS application, your uh, database for each organization, uh, your cluster, which basically uh, contains the Docker containers for each application for the different orgs, a load balancer, and then the different orgs connecting to that load balancer. So now bear in mind that in this paper, we will discuss two multi-tenant architecture models, one for the application layer and one for the database layer. So there's another article which can go into more extensive knowledge around single tenant versus multi-tenant, but let's talk about the benefits of multi-tenant. The adoption of a multi-tenant architecture approach will bring extensive valuable benefits to your SaaS application. Uh, let's go through the next contributions. One is reduction of server infrastructure cost using a multi-tenant architecture strategy. Second is a single source of trust. So your the for the first one, uh, you have AWS hosting costs can be drastically reduced from hundreds of servers to a single one. And for the single source of trust, you have a uh, imagine that you have a customer using your SaaS application and how many code repositories would you have per customer? At least three, four branches per customer, which would be a lot of overhead and misaligned code releases. Even worse, visualize the process of deploying your code to the entire farm of tenants, which is extremely complicated and unviable and time consuming. But with a multi-tenant SaaS architecture, you can avoid this type of conflict where you have a single code base which you can trust and a code repository with a few branches like dev, test and prod. And by following these practices with a single command, one click deployment, you will quickly perform the deployment process in a few seconds. And then a third point is that the cost reduction for development and time to market, uh, because if you have a single code base and a single set of decisions to make, uh, you can reduce your development cost and marketing time as well. So we will go over in more detail about the 12 factor methodology and the uh, database architecture and the storage and APIs and the code base differences in the upcoming videos in this playlist. Um, but this is essentially the multi tenant versus the single tenant and what uh, a multi-tenant architecture is. So I will see you in the next video when we will talk about the SaaS technology stack for architecture for AWS.